Hey everybody! Um, we're starting this vlog a little bit late. It's 1.24 a.m. right now. We got off work at 12.50. Oh my god. If you don't know, um, I'm a server and Brian is a prep cook. And people have asked us, how is it to work with your boyfriend or your girlfriend? Um, isn't it like complicated or if you're fighting, how do you deal with that? What would you say? It's nice to have you there to talk to and hang out and see your face and everything. Um, I think it's good that we have different jobs though. Like you're in the back working, doing prep, and I'm in the front. Yeah. I know some of you guys are kind of curious how Ryan um, interacts with his co-workers at work being deaf and all and people don't know sign language. Most people have never met a deaf person so want to explain. <laughs> He's really good at reading lips. Mm -hmm. And you have you get like kind of used to the person he said. Well, that makes sense, like, yeah, I mean, it's not intuitive to think that way, but if you really think about it, um, both of you have experience with crossing, like, solving, not solving, but, like, cr what, what's the sign for, like, crossing over, crossing over that language barrier? Mm, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that, so you're both very good at that, yeah, and I can tell the same thing at this job too.
very doubtful. Doubtful. Yeah. And before he left, he said that you're one of the best people he has trained. And I could see he meant that. <laughs> and this guy actually really, now he really likes you. He always asks like, what day are you working? Are you working tomorrow? Are you working tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, and I've seen that happen so many times actually, where you've just changed people's mind about their initial thought about you. On my side of it, all my co-workers who are hearing or like the servers, they, when they found out you're my boyfriend and you, we signed, they were really interested in it and they wanted to learn a few signs or, you know, things like that. And how I like approach it, I always just introduce you, you know, if they actually have questions, I'll teach them signs or I'll say that you're really good at reading lips so they understand that, you know, they can talk to you directly. Breaking down those barriers by just treating the situation as, you know, normal and not being scared to talk about it. I think it's just very important to treat the situation openly and you know not afraid because people are just afraid to say something wrong or to say something offensive so if you just say it already say yeah he's deaf you know he reads lips and more often than not the person's gonna feel more comfortable and actually more interested in learning about the deaf uh, deaf culture or you know sign language don't be scared to talk about it because that's just that's what causes the problem if you're not willing to talk about it Yeah, the eye contact is really important, right? So I'm leaving my job um, this Sunday is my last day and I'm really sad to leave because I got to know the people so well but at the same time I'm very excited because I'm gonna be putting a lot more time into Sign Duo. Like it started as a hobby, but now I want to take it seriously. And I just see the positive uh, impact. Impact? Impact? Yeah, 
the positive impact it has on people. It just has so much more meaning to me than my job, current job now. And I already put in my two weeks and my last day is this Sunday. And bringing you guys more videos, more fun videos, more um, educational videos, and uh, education and deaf culture, you know, spreading awareness. Yeah, that. I think that's what we want this channel to be about is that, you know, it's not about deaf only or hearing only. It's about bridging, bridging, or bridging that gap. You know, bridging, I like that thing. Bridging that gap, more videos, more vlogs, more, and uh, newer content too. So just wait for that and I'm so excited to be working on all of that. I'm too tired now.